massive with over a hundred acres, multiple houses, and a massive lake. It's also full of a ton of secret rooms that we discovered. Like this one in the ceiling or this huge one in the barn. Guys, this is one of the craziest secret rooms here in the Team Rara house. And it didn't always look like this at the beginning. It actually looked like this. This room is huge, Matt. I think we found the perfect secret room. Now that you know what this room used to look like, it cost roughly $12,000 to transform it into the ultimate Team Rara gaming room up here in the attic. Woo, guys, this is it. This is the most perfect secret room here at the Team Rara house. Now that it's all clean and it looks amazing, it is time to decorate it and build this out to a secret gaming room. Room. We're here at Walmart. We have 10 minutes to spend $1,000. You guys ready to do this? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go. 10 minutes on the timer. Let's go spend money. Woo! Let's go. Woo! Oh, my gosh. We did it. $1,000 at Walmart in 10 minutes. It fits, it's unbelievable. We got it all in. Now let's get back home. Carter, where am I supposed to squeeze in? What the heck is this? I can't fit. What am I supposed to do? Wait, don't start it. Hold on. Andrew, just climb on the roof. Okay. All right, back to the house. Here we go. Hang on, Andrew. Okay, careful. Woo! This is awesome, dude. Woo! Andrew, how you doing up there, buddy? Oh my God. Ah! Here at Team Rar, we like to work smart and hard. Open it up, boys. We're gonna bring the groceries in as close as we can so we don't have to make a bunch of trips. Time to unload. Woo we have all of this stuff to build, decorate, and put together, and it's gonna be amazing. My head. I've already done it so many times. First things first, we need to add some color. Woo! My strategy is I'm gonna go with an alternating pattern between Baby Yoda and Spider Man. Dude, this looks sick. Whoa, what is this? Check it out! We found a secret room. And today, we're gonna finish decorating with disco balls, furniture, TVs. This is amazing, what the heck? We have three people, so let's start building and make this room epic, let's go! Carter, this is pink. It was the only color they have, but cotton candy's pink is the best flavor. So the secret room isn't just confined to the room because it's the only way to get up to the rooftop. We basically can extend the secret room all the way up here. So we are planning to build the most epic patio that is out here. And the best part is you're not gonna be able to see it from the ground. So it's also going to be a secret patio that no one's gonna know about. Step one, we got our grass. Next up, we got a tent. Wow, it's even green. Guys, don't tell me. Carter, I can hear you. I'm right here. What? This is great because we can sit out here. We can look at the lake. We have an amazing view. Dude, yeah, this view is amazing. Look at that. All right, guys, this is it. The build is complete. We have a bunch of things going on. We got amazing, like, LED accent lighting. This part is amazing. Like, just to give you an idea, I can literally lay down. I could sleep up here. I could lounge for hours. And moving on to the most exciting part. One of my favorite sports is definitely basketball, especially doing trick shots. So let's just shoot some hoops. Let's see if I can make it. If I make this first try, you guys have to subscribe. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Moving on, we have a lot more to show, and actually, you know, Andrew, I have a surprise for you. And that is that the TV was never broken. The TV, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's still good. Check it out, and you're on TV right there, and what? you're about to uh, pop the balloon. Oh, there you are, Andrew. Woo! And moving on, if you're gaming for a long time, you're gonna be hungry. So behind the TV, we have amazing things. We have a real life popcorn machine, and this is one of my favorite. Yes, it's pink, it looks a little girly, but trust me on this one, guys. This is a real life cotton candy machine that makes real cotton candy, so I can't wait to plug that in and try it out. Woo! And that's not even it. This isn't even the end of the secret room. We have the secret door to the secret room. The best part is we have a huge secret rooftop, and the only way to get there is through the secret room. Oh, Oh my gosh, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. We can come over here, we can hang out. All the cotton candy that we make, we can bring it out. We have an incredible view of the backyard and it's gonna be really hard for anyone to see us up here because the way we positioned it is in the middle of the roof. So it's really quite secret, really quite private. Look how big this rooftop is. We can play 
football like for real up here guys it's absolutely huge the possibilities are endless we converted this car to be fully remote controlled thus making it the world's largest rc car and we're about to drive it as fast as it can go 100 miles an hour off a massive ramp launching the car 150 feet in the air landing it in the water and on top of all of that we're going to be adding rocket thrusters oh! to make it that much more rare and ridiculous because that is what team rar is all about This RC car is so big, we're only gonna have one attempt to get this right. Whoa. <laughs> Woo! And to make sure that we don't mess this up, we're gonna be doing a series of scale model tests with this, a scale model version of the original car. This is a mini rocket engine commonly used for model rockets, and we're gonna be using this to simulate our thruster for the scale model PT Cruiser by attaching it like this. Mini thruster test, just like the big one, we have a remote starter, so let's put the key in, push down. When the light is on, we are armed and ready. Here we go. Oh! Thruster test in three, two, one. God, where'd it go? It flew off the table and came right at us. Right at us, that was insane. Yo, my heart is racing right now. I heard it so close behind me. This is not a drill. Mini test launch, here we go. Putting the key in the ignition. We have connection. Here we go, scale model test. In three, two, one. The model PT Cruiser works amazing, especially with the model rocket engine. But that means for the giant PT Cruiser, we're gonna need a giant rocket thrusters. That is what we're gonna be adding to the PT Cruiser to make it go even faster so when we hit the jump, it flies even further. This is rocket thrust test number one. Shields down, we don't know what's about to happen. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh. One of these cars is not like the other. And if you're guessing this one because it's got a chair on the roof, you're wrong. It's different because it is fully remote control. We built this thing last year. We have a motor in the headrest that turns the wheels. We have two motors down here that do the gas pedals. And with this controller, we can actually drive it just like an RC car. And Andrew has this FPV headset with googly eyes where we installed a camera up at the top here where we can drive it. Full scale RC testing. Here we go. Ready? Throttle. Okay, and wow. it's moving seamlessly. Wow. Completely driverless right now. This is so easy to drive. No way. It's like a video game. It's smooth. Getting a little bit of speed. Whoa, hold All right, on. Don't aim it at us. <laughs> it looks like you have a lot of control over it. Oh yeah, a ton of control. Super easy. Nothing like doing some welding at midnight. Let's go. Oh, that's bright. So this is our custom fabricated bracket that should hold rocket boosters. Oh, it's pretty level. Heck <laughs> yeah. Can you pick it all up? Rocket boosters. Oh, that looks so sick. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> it is crunch time. We're adding the final wires. We're gonna have these rocket boosters running tonight. We're gonna be able to do a night test. What is this, Andrew? <laughs> Extension cord in the car. That's how we're powering these guys. That's all we need. Woo! All right, Raster, looking good. We got the team bar on there. Now we are officially ready for the first night shot where we can run the rocket boosters. If these rockets initiate when I hit on, I think the car is 100% done and ready for the jump. RC is working great. The kill switch that Matt is holding is working good. We just need to make sure the rocket boosters are gonna be working on this thing. Here we go. First rocket test, three, two, one. Oh, yes. A little booze. All right, rocket test number two, three, two, one. Woo! It's actually working. They're both firing perfectly with a click of a button. This is actually insane. So, oh, what's the forecast? The conditions are just not right. We're gonna have to wait for the weather to pass and things to dry out. Today is the day, guys.
guys, we are jumping the world's biggest RC car with rocket thrusters. The sun came out, it's shining, it's drying up, and today we are launching the full size the giant PT Cruiser. Matt's got his car, he's kind of going up and down, trying to smooth the surface and pack it. It's still soft. I think it actually might be a little too soft, but we're jumping today no matter what. Andrew's getting the paint ready. Stowe's working on getting angles. We got all hands on deck right now because we are jumping a car as fast as it'll go. This is like real life beam NG here in the backyard of my house, the team our house. We're painting the ramp so that when we're driving it, we have a lot of visual cues of how to line this thing up. Because remember, we literally only get one shot there's no way this car is jumping off at this full speed and somehow landing and being able to drive again without it being completely total. RC car is coming. Andrew is doing his test runs. He's dialing the speed. And I think we're gonna do ourselves justice and send off the little car with the rocket off the big ramp. I think we should just put it right about here. You know what, Stowe? I'm gonna let you do the honors. You're gonna let me? Wow. This is going over the lake, guys. Oh, there we go. What? <laughs> it's a dud! <laughs> it's in the water! Guys, it's crazy to think that five years ago I started my YouTube channel when I was living in my parents' basement, filming videos in the backyard with this exact RC car. These are some of the first videos that it went viral that launched my entire YouTube channel. Now I'm in the backyard of my own house with a custom built giant RC car with rocket boosters, and we're about to launch it off this ramp, guys. This is the final time we're gonna be starting the car because this is it. My heart is like thumping. Andrew is the calm before the storm right now. He's keeping it calm, cool, and collected. Woo. I'm getting nervous, but it's all out of my hands. I'm actually just a spectator in this. Stove is gonna be running the thrusters. I got the speed. Thruster one powering up, thruster two. Those are all powered up. Stove, give us a little thrust test. Let's get this. Yes! Oh, it's hot! Thrusters are working! The car is working! You're looking excited, Stone! I'm so excited for this. Let's go, Team RAR! This is what Team RAR is all about. It's doing things that are rare and ridiculous. That is what RAR stands for. And I would say that this... Ah, that's pretty rare and ridiculous! Are we ready to do this? Let's do it! I'm ready. All right, well, you know what? Here we go, guys. Let's start at three, two, one. Let's go! Guys, he is building speed. There it is, through the trees. He's getting as much run up as possible. Focus. Andrew is focused, <laughs> calm, collected, so he's freaking out. I'm freaking out. This is gonna be insane. Oh, there it is, coming over the bed. There it is. Oh, it's going fast. You feeling good, Andrew? Are we still on? You're looking great. It's coming on up. Oh my God. I think uh, Swap Man needs to go get wet again. Oh, I can't believe it. It launched. I didn't think it launched. Oh, it landed perfect. Dude, my view of that was just gorgeous. It's just it's beautiful. Woo! Oh my gosh. And it must have flew over this angle. It landed right here. We were that close. And it's sitting in the water slowly sinking. That was incredible. And we lost it. Oh, it just got, oh, there goes the camera, under. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> we did we it, got it. We launched it! <laughs> that was the most successful thing I ever possibly imagined could possibly oh even God. happen. That was just, I'm shook, but also worried that there's a car that just disappeared in our backyard. This is my living room. Woo! Oh! I'm okay! And I'm gonna be filling my entire house with trampolines. We built all of these trampolines, now we need to start carrying these inside. Starting with the smallest trampolines first. Go! Oh! 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 30 trampolines later and it's done! The house is done! Oh! Normally we do challenges for $10,000, but that's not big enough. Oh! Today we're all competing for this. My brother left his $200,000 Lamborghini here. 
here, and so I'm gonna be giving it away in today's video. 2v2 dodgeball, team pink versus team blue. The losing team has gotta vote somebody off. Three, two, one, dodgeball! Oh! 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 Oh
A lot easier than the big one. Oh! This isn't even as half as tall as the big one we did at the last two of our house. I realized that these are wheels, so we should be able to roll it. Here we go. Roll, roll, roll. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Oh. It's a trampoline island in the lake. <laughs> Come help us. I'm stranded on the island. I don't know. I just woke up out here. The good news is the water's warm. The bad news is Andrew and Stover gel. Next up, we got the two stack. We're going to see if we can just hamster wheel this all the way. Now that we got this, let's go. Hamster wheel. I can't believe this. This is crazy. Last but not least, we gotta move the infamous five stack. This is only five, our previous record's 11, but this thing is still monstrous. And we're gonna try to move it all in one piece without disassembling. It was actually Andrew's idea. So if this doesn't work, blame it on the bird. This is kind of a bird Khalifa. We're gonna try to carry it, and at the very end, we might have to crane it in. Okay, here we go. So we're lifting. This is really tall. That's good. Oh, there it goes. Watch out for the camera camera. Oh. <laughs> I'm holding back. Yeah. Okay. I need five people. Yeah. Everyone just go in and stand on the, the bottom rung to hold it in place. This is gonna be sick. All right, let's start let's start slow. Right. Let's see how it goes. We're on the back wide. Whoa. Side. side. Yeah. Alright, easy. More on the back foot. Yes! We're gonna get right over. Straight to the lake. Oh my god. <laughs> Keep going, push. Drive. Drive. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I got lift. Oh. Oh. This is the final stretch. We gotta climb a slight hill. Push! Push! Success! Congrats, that was awesome. Now that we have all the trampolines here, we gotta organize. All these trampolines were in the house. Like, look how many there are. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we're almost done, let's go for a test bounce. Ladies and gentlemen, it's officially done. The outside trampoline park here at the new Team Raw House, starting with the tiny trampoline, tons of them, moving up to the medium-sized color lily pads, and then we can bounce our way all the way at the back, up on the huge rectangles. These ones are amazing. Trampolines as far as you can see. This is actually so cool. It's even better than the house setup. I don't know why we didn't start with this. Woo! Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, well, you barely made it actually. You hit right at the edge. Now that we're done, we have over 30 trampolines in the backyard and we haven't even seen one flip yet. Oh, Carter, you're up. You're first. Oh, Show us a good backflip. Oh, on a big one. Oh, big one. All right. Here we go. Backflip. All right. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That, happened, that happened too fast. Oh. oh, was that one foot? Corkscrew. Oh, that was good. That was clean. One more. Oh. All right, who's up next? No! So I have been working on something. Wait, are you going front or I'm back? Front. Okay. I have been working on something. So someone's going front flip. And he's, uh, wait, front? You, okay, I don't, I've never seen you do a front. Wait, that was a front half. Oh, even better. Front quarter to the knees. Just like I planned. You know, there is one person that's never back flipped ever in the history of Team RAR. And that is our strongest member. Now that we got the selfie on, we about to bust down. What are you about to do? <laughs> <laughs> I, my, I think I cracked my back. <laughs> Yo, I don't know how you did that. That's actually impressive. <laughs> it's the confidence. <laughs> oh, that was good. That one was good. Yo, that's sketchy. I built this huge trampoline park here in the backyard, and today we're gonna be spending the next 24 hours here. But first, we need more trampolines. Andrew, hit it! This is wild. This is another crazy trampoline fantasy coming through. Hello. I want to bring it like right here. Coming down. Oh, a little more. A little more. Ah, the trampoline park is almost complete. Yeah. The stove's bouncing like crazy. I'm like barely climbing down right now. And I'm doing it one-handed because I got a vlog too. I'm uh, making, a, making a leap. Oh. Whoa! You working on your backflip or so? I would have a tear in my eye. That's impressive. Because I know you're gonna come up to me and ask me to do a backflip. Well, you're right. One of the first challenges is land a backflip where you're out. Duh. What? No, no, no. Yes! Oh. Here we go. Oh! oh. 
Wait, I think that might have been actually a backflip. I think that was it. Okay, Carter, you gotta stand on that green. All right. I have four basketballs for you. We gotta shoot that little hoop. I have to make three or make four. at least three or four. I'm going first? You're going first, of course. Oh! That was not bad, not a bad try. Here's another one for you. You know what? If you make this one, I'll count as two. All right, how many did you get again? One? One of three. One of three. So I just gotta make two. Flick of the wrist. Miss. Oh, that was weak. So I was getting a little worried. Oh! Stone. Stone. Maybe I'll go back to back one. <laughs> if you lose, you're gonna have to coke at Beto's challenge. It's so embarrassing. And that one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that strong. <laughs> We've used this Batman device for a lot of things. Normally it's to climb up the house, but never to go into the sky. Well, actually Andrew did something similar when he was a cloud in hide and seek. Oh, you go, oh, hey! Oh, what? Your feet left the, th the trampolines. What are you saying? You're out. I'm not out. Yeah, you, you left the trampolines. But when you jump, you leave trampolines, though. That is true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm out now. Out. 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 In. Out. 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 In. Out. I got his rope. Ah, ah. Swing him. Swing him. Swing him. Swing him. Woo. Ah. 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 Easy. Hey. Boom. <laughs> oh. What <laughs> my cruel world. Whoa. I lost <gasps> Okay, that was so <laughs> If these weren't here, I would have been out. Here we go, we got three gallons, we got stove, we got a samurai sword. Let's do some fruit ninja. My plan is working perfectly and my next step is called a trampoline. More specifically, a water trampoline. I'm setting sail, let's go! Guys, I'm definitely going to get to this house for sure. Ah! Ah. Yes! So far, so good. He thought. No. Is Stove trying to hump? Oh, he's not even touching the ground. He's doing the hamster wheel. Are you kidding me? No way! I don't know! Where, where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh! I think you're stuck! Oh my gosh! Oh! You're about to fall into the water! Oh! What are you doing? Oh! I'm in! I'm no! In. You're in the water! Oh! No, no. oh so Chill! 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 What are you doing? This isn't a water trampoline! This isn't a, you're, touching you're touching the ground! You're touching the ground! No, I'm not! No, I'm not! Oh! No! no. Oh. <laughs> You smell so bad. Chill, 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 chill. chill, chill, chill. chill. You just chill, poured milk. Chill. You just poured milk. Chill. No, Ow. stop, stop. I just wanted a dog. I poured milk. I poured milk. You just poured milk all over. I did not. Oh. 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 Guys, comment down below who won. I think it was me. It was me for sure. In the past couple weeks, we've been building trampolines like crazy. We built this amazing trampoline park here in the backyard. And we have tons of these trampolines. And basically the goal for today is to stack every single one of these trampolines and go vertical up into the sky to reclaim the record of the highest trampoline tower ever built by mankind. In order to float metal trampolines, which are solid and heavy and will definitely sink in the water, we got these things. Floating docks. I think it'll be able to do one or two, no problem, but will it do 18 or 30 or I don't know how high we're going. We're gonna go until it falls over, I think. Oh, you get extra bounce on this. Whoa. Yeah. Well, this is just one trampoline on the dock, but it does float, so it's pretty cool. Of course, we gotta test it out behind the jet ski and see if we can bounce. Oh, I don't want a trampoline. We got Andrew on the jet ski. We just tied a string to it and uh, it's working. 
I'm on a regular land trampoline on water to make a really good water trampoline. Yeah! Oh, we're going under! We're going under! Abort! Abort! Okay. Well, this was fun, but we gotta do more trampolines. I say, uh, let's add four more. That's how we're bolting them together. This is how we've always done it. We just use these pipe clamps. They're kind of like zip ties. But they're metal, they're strong. We are moving along super quick because this isn't our first rodeo. We already have three four stacks built. And as you can imagine, this one on top of there, and then this one on top of there, it's gonna be big. Moment of truth, is it gonna actually lift? Hey, get out of there, Andrew. Look at this. Oh, it's a swinging trampoline. That's so sick. We got a flying four stack. That's a 10 stack right there. That's how high a 10 is. Oh, in place. Touchdown. Yes. <laughs> that was, yes. That was the easiest stack ever. This remote would have taken us a lot of sweat in the hot sun. We just stacked five, guys. We were definitely breaking a record today with all the technology that we have. Yes. This is inaugural. We're only at five, but we got to test it out. Three, two, one. <laughs> Jump number one successful. Time for the first inaugural trampoline island power world record front flip. <laughs> so we are bringing the next one over. Oh, this immediately makes the tower really tall. We're already at nine. Our previous personal record at Team Rari is 11. The world record's 12. That means we're only three away from the world record, which probably would be this high if we had like one or two right there. Oh my gosh, look at the look of this thing. Oh, it looks like the backyard of the old Team Rari house, except we're on a lake. Oh my gosh, the height of this thing is unreal. I can't wait to climb it. But here we go, guys, to the top of the nine on water. This looks good. Oh! Oh, this is a little scary. Oh, that's actually terrifying. Okay, yo, I'm up here. <laughs> You're up there, that's crazy. Here we go, this is the nine trampoline island jump test. Three, two, one. Whoa! This is where things really get exciting in this video right now. We have this other four stack. This is gonna turn our nine into a 13. Here we go, moment of truth. We're gonna start touching down. Oh my gosh. How does all of that somehow float on that? That's just crazy. First step. That's four already. Five to my feet. We're about to break new height. Oh my gosh. We're getting close to the top. Oh my. Oh, I made it. It doesn't make sense, look at this. Team Roar, sitting on 13, floating on the, I can't believe it would work. It doesn't make sense. It's officially a world record. The shadow is ridiculous. Oh my. This is the moment we've all been waiting for a world record 13 stack floating in the middle of the lake. Here we go, three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> oh, look at this tower. What in the world? Here we go, the last one to stop riding boats. It's gonna win $10,000. The last to stop riding challenge starts at three, two, one. Everyone pick a boat or a jet ski or something. All right, definitely taking this one. I'm wearing all blue. I'm going on the blue jet ski. Definitely this thing's super this. fast. Ooh. Taking this, I'm taking this. Start this thing off. We got so many options. Grace, what are you gonna pick? It's the Barbie belt. Look how cool it is. Oh, that thing is so cool, guys. This is one of my favorite and one of the newest additions. Definitely taking this one. This is the fastest jet ski ever made. Good luck, everyone else. May the best player win. Let's do this. Looks like me and Steven are the first ones out. Here we go. I forgot to tell you, you have to keep driving with that one or you literally sink. And if you sink and fall off, you lose. Wait a second, what is this thing? Oh, as long as I go from one boat to the other, I think I can use this thing. Challenge one is a race. We're gonna see who is driving the fastest vehicle. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh my God, oh, go, 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 yeah! And 23 seconds. 
Here we go in three, two, one, go! Hang on, he's coming in hot. And time. That was so fast. 22 seconds, which means Andrew's in first place by one second. Three, two, one, go! Start. Oh, it worked! Oh, he's going fast. Oh, he's starting to slow down around the turn. Oh! He fell! Yes! I'm still in it! Oh, he's up and running again. Steven, I don't know, you were so slow. He still might beat you. Look how fast he's going. Oh, he's going so fast. Oh and time. Woo! Results are in with a time of one minute. Oh, you are in last place. I'm sorry, but you are eliminated. Plus, you're kind of already in the water, so. All right, guys, up next, we have the wakeboard challenge. Wakeboard challenge was a part of it. Wouldn't you just come up with this? Yeah, yeah, I think it's cool. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be great. Carter, you are yeah. up first. Oh, wait, why am I, I was up first with the other one. You're like the best at wakeboarding, so. All right, Steven, you ready? Let's yeah. start it up. Let's go. I'm up. I'm doing it. I'm gonna win this challenge! They're over there, but the best part is I landed on this floaty. This one actually has motors. I built this over a year ago. If these motors work, then it's a boat. And if it's a boat, I'm still on, which means I'm still in the challenge. Now it's time to get answer out. Oh, Andrew, you got it. We're off and running. We got it. This is the Sheriff Fam Last to Stand Challenge. We got Steven and Grace, and the last one to fall off this jiggly platform Ooh. loses. Oh, it's like jello. We got Andrew with the jet boat to make waves. Uh -oh. We can't push, but if you fall in the water, you lose. Oh, Hit it, Andrew. Go, go, go. My mom. This is my oh, $12,000 secret gaming room. But sadly, this room is not secret enough. Everybody already knows about this secret gaming room, including my mom. So I'm gonna be building a secret gaming room inside my secret gaming room. The only problem is my mom is gonna be here in a few hours, and so I gotta get to work. It finally is delivered. Three, two, one. Oh, it's huge. It's huge. This is gonna be our camouflage entrance. So just be careful. This, thing was, this wasn't cheap, by the way. Getting a custom print of this yeah. ridiculous. They make you extra. I can't even make like it as high. I can't even put it as high, but that's hilarious. Bringing the tools up. Once we're done, we're gonna have a new entrance. We won't have to come through this, and we can lock this down. Oh! Whoa! What's up? <laughs> They're out there. Check it out. <laughs> we're in a hole. Secret. It's so secret in here. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta bust this wall down. Yeah. <laughs> I can really climb out of the house. Oh, this is a lot higher than I thought. 
Now that we have a hole in the wall, we're gonna need to add some electronics. So let's ask Andrew what he's working on next. This is gonna be the control panel that controls the whole gaming room. So the secret gaming room is gonna have a control panel? This is overkill. I know. This is <laughs> awesome. After many hours of doing wiring and electronics, it was time to add an entrance to the secret gaming room. This may look like a normal shoe rack, but little does everyone know that this is a secret ladder into our secret gaming room. And uh, I'm gonna be the first one to test it. So Yeah, so Nick finished installing these LEDs up here, and we're gonna have our clouds that go on top, and it's sound reactive. Woo! Andrew is now fortifying the entrance of wood to make sure it's nice and sturdy for easy access. Later today, we're having a huge party and we need to make sure that this is gonna be completely covered up. And as you can see, the house is a huge mess. So we're racing against the clock. We have just a few more hours to get the picture frame up there and sealed. How's the secret gaming room right, coming along? Final stages right now. So we're installing the coolest part, which is the hidden switch. It's gonna be a shoe right there. And uh, switch sits in that wood cavity and then the shoe is going to sit on top and you just twist the shoe and it'll open and close the painting. Oh, really what, dude? Right, what do you think of it? Yo, this is nuts. It's not done yet. Oh, look at the clouds. Oh, wow. That is crazy, man. This is dope. All right, guys, give it up for Andrew with the technical work up here. This is crazy. Yeah. What do you guys do? We're coming back to shower. Shower? Yeah. Is that okay? Did you get a shower? No, it's not okay. Did it not? No. Bill. No, no, come here. What? Is he somewhere? Philip told us to figure out which shoe is different. Yeah. Look at your hand. Hey, Phil. For our last and biggest prank, we have Albert. He's over in the kitchen preoccupied, so we're all gonna be climbing up to the secret room right now. Everybody go. Run it up, run it up. <laughs> Where do you guys go? Yo, Albert, Brown Garage? Brown Garage, yeah. Brown Garage? Yeah, we're, I'm, we're, all, we're all going to the Brown Garage. Brown Garage. Stop this. You're going the wrong way. It, it looks like you're talking from the painting. No, not the painting. Hey, Albert, do you see that orange shoe? Yeah. No, not the croc. Right? In, it's like, uh, it's at like arm's height. It's not orange. It's a black shoe with orange on it. Yeah, I see it. Alright, grab the left one and turn it to the left. <laughs> yeah! Months ago, I set out to buy the cheapest Ferrari in the country and I succeeded. I found one sitting in someone's barn for over 20 years. This thing was rough, but we got it home and it actually ran and drove. After posting that video, there were a ton of comments saying this was a fake Ferrari. So to prove you guys wrong, I took this thing to get authenticated and I was so confident it was real, I said this. If they were to say this isn't a real Ferrari and that it's like fake or something, I will tie this thing and winch it up into a no. tree and make a tree house out of it. After a thorough inspection, the verdict was in. This it's actually a 1984 Ferrari 308 built by Pontiac. It's by actually Pontiac. a Pontiac Fiero. It's not a Ferrari. It doesn't. I couldn't believe my ears. My Ferrari was fake. Everybody was right. But I'm a man of my word, so now I need to go put my fake Ferrari high up into a tree. The first step of hanging the Ferrari is I need my fire truck to get next to the tree so I can get up there and hang the pulleys. But the fire truck is huge, so we had to build an entirely new bridge. Building a bridge proved to be so difficult, the fire truck got stuck. We had to spend thousands of dollars just to pull this thing out, tear up the bridge, rebuild it again, and then try driving the fire truck across a second time. Go, 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 go! We're going, we're going. Oh, yeah! yeah! Oh, oh my God! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, my God! That's scary! <laughs> 
The system is finally set up. It took a lot of work, but we got the pulleys up mounted in the tree. We have a car here. This isn't the Ferrari, but this is gonna be our testing car just to make sure if it all works. If it does, then we're gonna get the Ferrari. Behind me, we got the fire truck. We got the skid steer. We got the work truck. We got the monster trucks. So we got all the toys out. We have a crazy pulley system here in order to pull this off. And we're about to start our first test. But let's start our engine. Let's get started because Matt can't wait another minute. Let's go. All the pulleys are starting to move. Oh, the car's lifting. Oh, this is working really well. Oh, the dirt. Oh, we almost have full lift up. Okay, at any point, this could drop. Oh, I thought I saw something. Right there, perfect. That's maxed. You guys ready? Let's do yeah. it. I'm a little nervous, but here we go. All right, three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! It's like a totem pole. That was crazy. Dude, look at that. The wire got whipped. It worked. That's the coolest thing. All right, this is the mission. Weeks in the planning of this, with the fire truck stuck, with building the bridge, rebuilding the bridge, building the platform, taking the PT Cruiser up, dropping it, testing it, trimming the tree. So many steps, it's taken forever, but I'm a man of my word. I said I'm putting a Ferrari in a tree, and so we're literally about to do that right now. All right, let's do it. Let's put some tension on that cable. Oh, don't stall. Oh. Ooh. Come on, Matt. That pulley's pulling. The cable is starting to come up. Okay. Oh, we have liftoff. Oh. I, oh, it broke. It broke. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're just going to try a little bit. That's pulling. If we keep going, we're going to risk this thing actually falling out. We've got to get this for a tree. This is killing me. I'm doing this for Team Roar. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, not the Ferrari. This was not part of the plan. Oh my God. Just, just get it done. Get the job done. Keep going. That could, that was horrible. That went horrible, but we, it's up there. I'm not happy about it. All right. Monster truck is rolling. PT Cruiser is slow and steady. The <laughs> yeah, the Ferrari, the Ferrari. PT Cruiser is the one we dropped. That's the PT Cruiser. This is the Ferrari. It's coming down. This is great. It's still not out of the woods. If it falls, it's still totaled. Oh my gosh, it's scraping the tree the whole way down. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Slow, We're slow. We're just gonna and go easy. for it. Slow and easy. We're just gonna go Come for on. it. Yes! Oh. <laughs> That'll buff out. It's, I mean, it's all right. It's better than it could have been, you know? It's just the tension of oh the cable. My, oh my gosh, this wheel. It wasn't even in, like, the car rolled back. Like, look how far back it went. What was even holding that? I, I guess the strap. This goes tight. Oh my god. Well, this whole project couldn't have gone worse. <laughs> but we got it done. <laughs> yeah! This is my koi pond, and it is a beautiful sanctuary filled with hundreds of baby koi. Koi fish are super colorful, decorative fish that people love to collect and sometimes can be worth up to $100,000 or even more. The most expensive one sold for $1.8 million. But that's not important to me. I love these koi because they are my babies. And when I walk up to the pond edge, they can see me and they swim right up waiting to get fed. It's literally the cutest part of my entire morning. But the sad part is I've been noticing my baby koi are slowly starting to disappear. I even found a dead one. So I don't think my baby koi fish are safe outside here in the pond. So the plan is to keep them in the safest spot that I know where I keep all of my most prized possessions right here under my bed. Uh, uh, not that you were supposed to see that. That's so embarrassing. Step one, we got to get rid of my regular bed. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. Andrew, don't look, don't look. Hey, what's up? We have all of this extra room for activities, so now we're ready for step two to build the aquarium. With the help of a couple of my friends, this build should be easy.
So it turns out it's actually not people that are coming onto the property and stealing my baby koi. It's a snake that is a yellow bellied water snake and it eats tadpoles, frogs, and even small fish. And I have a ton of baby koi and so that's eating them, making them disappear. And I think even the reason why I saw a dead one. The pond is now drained, which should make it a lot easier to catch the fish. And we need to catch them all, Jack, because there's a snake that's eating them. So let's get started. Jack's the master netter, by the way. And hopefully with that net, we will be able to catch all of them. Pull them out so we can save them and stick them in the bed. Did we get any? Oh, we got a good, okay. I think we got a few more. Yes. Each one of these baby koi that we catch is another koi fish saved from that awful snake that's literally eating them. So we're starting with bucket number one. We got a bunch of koi and we're carrying these into my bedroom. I cannot believe I'm saying that right now. So we can't just put the fish directly in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have an acclimation period where we're gonna dip this in and we're gonna hold this like this for about 10 minutes. And this is gonna allow the temperature to slowly warm the fish because the water in here is warmer than outside. It's been 20 minutes, the acclimation period is over. It is now time to release them into their new home. I'm so excited. Here we go, let's go nice and slow. You guys are free, go. Ah. Go, swim to your new home. Yes. <gasps> and just like that, we have a bed full of koi fish. They're swimming around for the first time. And they're gonna be exploring their new home. I wonder what they're thinking right now. Oh, we got some koi. They're curious. They're coming over to look at me. Hey, little koi. Wow, this is amazing. The aquarium bed is finally done and the koi are getting settled. Stove just got back into town and he doesn't know that we're working on this. So I want to show you and Stove the final product all at the same time. Stove! Oh my gosh, bro. That's... <laughs> Welcome back from New York. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, I've been gone for like two days or so. All right, so. Well, I got a surprise. You ready? Let's yeah. go. Come on. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> we know the drill. Let's get inside this bed. Stove is going to be shook. Okay, here I go. Oh, koi. It's my first time ever swimming with fish, like cold fish. <sighs> it's a little cold still. Ah! Guys, like Carter was saying, I was gone for like two days. So there's there's no way they did anything crazy or ridiculous while I was gone. It's too short of a time. <laughs> Where is he at? <laughs> <laughs> there's no way! What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. You guys got this done in like two days? Yeah. And, or less, I guess. What? It's, <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> it's a fish tank bed and it's amazing. It's full of all my koi fish. I saved them from outside. Oh, uh, from the pond. I was going to ask, why did you transfer all the koi fish? To because the fish? there's animals. We found a snake eating them, so we had to bring them in here to keep oh, them safe. Actually, oh, so you saved them, actually. I saved them. This is hide and seek using only trash. You guys will have one hour to make the best hiding spot out of trash that you can, and if you get found, you're gonna be thrown in a dumpster. Here we go, three, two, one, time to take out the trash! Go! Using trash! Go the wrong way, Drew! Ah! Oh my god. Move it, move it! Look! There are 3,600 seconds in an hour, so let's get counting. 3,600. 3,599. My plan is to take some of Carter's trash and I'm gonna build myself a suit, just like Tape Man, to turn myself into Trash Man. Let's go. Oh, hold up. Oh, this one's clean. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I hope you guys are ready. That was uh, close enough to an hour. Oh man, I am never counting to an hour again. But it is time to take out the trash. Ready or not, here I come. I'm pretty sure the challenge has started. I am all in place right now. I'm looking pretty good with all this trash though. Let me show you what real trash looks like. I think Carter's on his way to go seek the other people, so I need to get this couch over there. 
this is making too much noise. I hope he's in the house right now. Oh, 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 that smells so bad. Okay, I don't, <coughs> oh God. I don't think anybody's in there. That literally smells so bad. Yeah, I, people must be inside. Hey, 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 watch where you're going, Pimp Squeak. Ryan, what are you doing? What do you mean? You're out. I'm trash. You're supposed to be hiding. What are no. you doing? What are you? I'm trashy. You're trashy. No, I'm you're being, no, I'm being trashy. That's the okay, whole thing. Yeah. Okay, Ryan, to be fair, I'm gonna give you one more try. Okay. But you only get 60 seconds to figure it out. Okay. What the heck? Who is that? Oh, no, you don't. Hey, who? What? Who is that? Ah, ah, I suck. Ah, ah, get out of here. Ah, Drew, what are you doing in the couch? Ah, oh, this is going to work. Apparently, my ideas are never good enough. I'm not creative enough. Nobody likes the fact that I'm dressed up as a trash talker, so I'm going to go get in the actual trash. Fine, you know? So creative. Let's just hop in a dumpster during the trash hide and seek video. I bet you nobody thought of this already. I've looked in these already. Oh my gosh. I think we have our next person. My hat's covering my eyes, but you know what? We're almost there. We are almost there. Ah. Ah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Did I? Is that a wall? There's no way I already made it to the tennis school. Hey, Stove. <laughs> Stove, where are you going? Stove! What are you doing? Why are you leaking goldfish? Stove! Oh! Uh, what in the trash can man is this? Another one down and another. Woo! Box man! Oh, box man versus trash can. Fight! I thought I smelled wet cardboard. It's time to take out the trash. Boxman, not trash. Trashman, trash. Boxman is trash. Ah! Ah! Boxman, trashman, trash. Ah! Ah! Time to stick out the trash. Ah! 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 Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. It is time to finally see who Boxman is once and for all. Oh. Who is in oh, here? Oh, no. Who is oh. Boxman? Oh. Oh, Boxman. Matt? Boxman. Matt's Matt Boxman? Carter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Boxman was actually pretty crazy, but uh, you didn't quite win. There's still what? one person left. Who? Ryan. No way. Ryan didn't beat me. Ryan's always a loser, but I don't know where he is. 